Hey guys, Zenith here. So today I have a little bit of a rent and it relates to the Nintendo Switch online controllers for the Switch. <laughs> so, um, like always, Nintendo, they usually give us retro games for their consoles and this generation they've done something a little bit different and they've obviously given us controllers for the retro games, uh, such as the NES controller and the Super Nintendo controller. Uh, we've also got the N64 controller, and I believe there's also a Mega Drive controller as well. Unfortunately, I've had a few problems with these controllers, and I just wanted to make a little bit of a video talking about them. They are problems that are completely <laughs> across the board. They're not like manufacturing faults or anything. These are f problems that could be fixed with software, but unfortunately they haven't done this. So the first problem I want to talk about relates to the NES and the SNES controllers. You cannot turn the console on with these. I don't know why, but you can't. It would be really useful to be able to turn the console on with these because every time you want to use one of these controllers, such as the SNES controller to play an SNES game or even a Game Boy Advance game, but I'll get onto that in a bit, you have to turn it on with probably your Pro Controller or whatever other controller you have, maybe a Joy-Con. Um, or just go and turn it on with the Switch. Um, but... Uh, you've got to turn it on somehow, and then you've got to go to the controller menu, and then you've got to go to the change grip slash order button, and then you've got to pay your controller, and then you're able to launch your game. And it's, it's just really tedious if you play games quite often with these controllers. Yeah, I know it's a small issue, but being able to turn the console on with the controller is such a basic feature at this point, and it's one of the biggest disadvantages of third-party controllers. And, you know, it makes me wonder, why would you get one of these instead of one of these, if um, if they both have the same limitations. It, it, it doesn't really make much sense to me. So my next complaint, it mostly revolves around the Game Boy Advance app, which, as you know, I play quite often because I'm a big fan of Game Boy Advance games. So, uh, you cannot use the NES and the SNES controllers to go to the home screen on them. It's not possible. On the... Um, on both of these controllers, and on both the NES and the SNES app, you can use them to get to the home screen by pressing the ZR button, or on the NES controller, the R button. But you can do that on the SNES app and the NES app, which makes me wonder, why does it have support for the SNES controller on the NES app, but not the Game Boy Advance app? If they're willing to do it for apps that aren't related to the console the controller is from, why not the Game Boy Advance? It makes no sense to me. And on top of that, the SNES controller is really good for the Game Boy Advance because, you know, it has a proper D-pad. The, the D-pad on the Pro Controller is, is too small. Look, if I put my thumb over it, you can't see it anymore. It's like it's not even there. And the, um, the Joy-Cons, I mean, I don't have the um, left Joy-Con with me, but those Joy-Cons, the D-pad on that isn't actually a D-pad. It's just four buttons. And I don't really want to use those for playing Game Boy Advance games. I want I want a proper D-pad. Um, I, I know I might sound a bit too particular about this, but like I I, I want I want it to work. All right, I want it to work. So yeah, I have in fact been using my SNES controller for the Game Boy Advance, but I have just been putting up with this issue of having to uh, go and turn off the console manually by pressing the power button when I want to stop playing. And I'm lucky that my console is just right there to the right of me, and not um, like hidden behind a cabinet or something like some people have. So really, that, those two complaints are all I have. Uh, it's clearly been a journey with these Nintendo Switch Online controllers. The NES controller released pretty limited and for some weird reason is designed like a Joy-Con. The SNES controller came with a ZL and a ZR button on the back and USB-C charging, which is very nice. And finally, the N64 controller, which I haven't really talked that much about in this video, um, but this one does actually clear up a little bit of my problems with this. It has a home button, which is very good, and also the um, the buttons all work universally across everything, which is great. Nintendo clearly put a lot of effort into these controllers. I mean, they, they have special icons which show up in the Switch, for example, and those are such a really nice little feature. And it's, it's, we're lucky to even have these in the first place, so hopefully one day they'll fix all of these issues with them, and maybe they'll be perfect. And uh, thankfully most of the problems are software related, they could simply fix this with an update to the Game Boy Advance app, and um, yeah, that's, that's really all I have to say today. Uh, thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!